So I think we're taking both c -dos. Yeah, and I'll also bring the fly spy. I'll move the ones I'm taking over to wherever. All right, so... Sean is, is Sean is fervently designing nine new maps. <laughs> Well, so you're going to land uh, north of it and go over on foot? I think that's the idea, as that will prevent uh, minimal exposure instead of like just riding the sea dew straight there. Yeah, riding the sea dew straight there, you won't even be allowed to make a, a stealth test. It'll just be the, they notice you. Um, so go ahead and uh, copy all the tokens you're taking. Well, I really don't have it. I really don't have a token for uh, the sea dew, so I don't have to copy that, right? Well, I'm assuming you're going to leave those up north a ways. I mean, unless you're trying to ride that along the edge or have nah. it come with you, you can uh, have it pilot itself. Like if you want to ram it into their thing in the middle of things, and if you want to. Does it actually I'll have a pilot rating? Yeah, all devices. Pretty much all devices, except for a handful, can pilot themselves. It has a pilot rating of two, so it can do stuff. Oh, so, by the uh, way, Sean, my uh, my sea dew does have passive sonar in case we, you know, stuff. Copied. I'm good to go. Same here. I've never tried copying five at once, but I think it worked. Okay, go ahead and click on the new map while I grab the library token. Don't paste them, right? Go ahead and just paste them. Okay. Um, is this like the... This will be the will put them somewhere, I presume. All right. I mean, it's already loaded for me. I just didn't know whether I should put them on here. Like, or how much we should see, or... I mean, we're coming in from the north, so I didn't know whether... I didn't know what to do. I'm not getting very close. I'm staying pretty goddamn far away. And the moment we uh, we land ourselves, uh, do you have the? I need to shrink myself. Yeah, size zero. The moment we land on the shore, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my casting out of the way before we make the trek down south. Uh, the first spell I'm going to cast is uh, improved invisibility. Uh, let's go ahead and move ourselves up north, I guess. Uh, at least I'm I'm going to move myself up north. I'm not going south. <laughs> Go as far north as you want to. I can add yep. more um, material if you want to. It's fine. The, the, uh, yeah. the current measurement is per meter. What I want to do is cast improved invisibility at force four on vice. Uh, force four being my limitation given the background. Uh, it's going to be uh, two hits them. With force four, I have to resist uh, damage drain resistance test of three. I will not take any stun. Okay, uh, in that case, Vice has improved invisibility with two hits on him. Uh, anyone who might try to perceive him must first successfully resist the spell with intuition plus counterspelling, if any. And they're going to have to make two hits in order to catch him. And even then, he might remain unnoticed if he wins a shadowing or infiltration test. The next thing I'm going to cast is a stealth spell on Vice at force four. I will take a minus two penalty to my dice pool because I'm currently sustaining improved invisibility. Minus two. 
Okay, that is going to be that. I will go ahead and make my drain resistance test. I'm resisting three. I take one point of stun damage. Go ahead and do that. Now, uh, Vice has improved invisibility too. You might want to add this to the description of your token, Jordan, as well as Stealth 3. So uh, anyone who wants to try to hear him must first successfully resist the spell with intuition plus counterspelling, if any. And it does meet the threshold of electronic equipment, uh, per the errata, because the threshold of that is 3. Consequently, any cameras or sensors will not be able to hear him. Unless he, like, smashes down a door or something. More uh, complex ones. Drones, I believe, can. I believe the threshold for that is oh, yeah. five, five plus. Yeah, drones and vehicles can hear him, yes. So Does that mean that his own comlink can't hear him? I think so. I definitely think so, too. So it's improved invisibility 2 and improved stealth 3, right? Yeah, it's stealth 3. Not improved stealth, just stealth. In which case, uh, anyone who would want to see him, like either of you two right now, uh, I'll go ahead and give you my counterspelling dice <laughs> uh, for this one. I'll go ahead and roll my counterspelling, uh, which is 4. We'll roll Did it work? Spelling. Oh, can you hear me? Say 4. And I'll have to make two checks for this so that you guys can attempt to hear him, too. Uh, that's for attempting to see him, so you guys don't even need to roll intuition. And uh, that's for attempting to hear him. You would have to roll intuition to try to hear him. So go make in... Well, go ahead and make a intuition roll, both of you. Did that nail it? Yep, you can hear him. That said, you can also notice and hear that you shouldn't be able, that there are something uh, hampering that. Uh, it is, uh, such spells are recognizable. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, intuition. There you go. Yeah, both of you will definitely be able to both see and hear him. Yeah, I was just double checking that I have five intuition because, you know, I forget these things. All right, all right. D does uh, either one of you want to take this uh, can Mushi in and drop it in there? If not, I'll, I can just uh, walk it in after you. It moves kind of slow, though. How tiny is it? It's a micro drone. It'll fit in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vice will put it into one of his pockets of his armored jacket. See, a very uh, visibly distracted truth sayer is going to say, I, I'm definitely not going to be going forward. I'm going to have to channel my thoughts to keep that shit on you, Vice. Uh, don't fuck this up. <laughs> uh, I'll stay with truth sayer then. You might need backup here, and I can monitor the drones easily enough from this distance. Those dice rolls are scaring me. Intuition to see if they can uh, see him. Yeah, but it's a... with the scene. Oh, I thought they were just continuing to shoot the drone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was two to see it's... him. That's it's actually to... been moved off to the corner, and uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's gone. So it, it is. Say, so, say, so two hits means that improved invisibility will. They could see him. Providing that he doesn't fucking discuss, you know, hide himself. It'll be three hits to actually hear him. Would you like me to make an infiltration roll? Go ahead and make an infiltration roll. I'll do the same. And anyone takes a minus if, one penalty to... If, uh, if you have edge to spare, this might be a situation where you want to use edge to uh, stack onto your dice. And uh, have the rule of six apply. So say for I was example, thinking I would also use edge to reroll failed dice. Say, you can only use uh, one point of edge on any given test. Hmm. So it's either like a reroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jordan! Well, well for starters, uh, you actually need to roll another die anyway, uh, Jordan, because you get plus four to your dice pool when you use a point of edge. 
you use like your maximum edge attribute. Yeah, you always roll your max edge. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing you put uh put those spells on him. I didn't glitch. Alright, and I guess I'll spend a point of edge on this too. I mean, if they can see me from way down there, goddamn, they have pretty good ma vision magnification. Son of a bitch. You did better than me, buddy. Step away, get something to drink, and uh, you, you can just imagine in true Sayer's head right now. <laughs> like, these are the stealthiest people. Really? God damn it. Yeah, at well, least I take a minus uh, four to any perception to notice me. I mean, they can see me. Well, one of them can see me. The rest doesn't look, the rest I don't know if they can actually see me. Glad I have this chameleon suit. So go, um, go to where you are going, and, uh, are you having them carry your drones? And, uh, if so, what commands do you have? Well, I believe you should be in range of all your drones, basically, permanently. Yeah, he only gave the can Mushi to, uh, Vice. The other two are sticking by him till he knows, uh, what's going on, because they're not particularly stealthy. Serpentine. Yeah, no. Go ahead that. and just put where you, wherever you're going. Um, there's, there is cover here. I just didn't draw all of it. And uh, Twitch is, uh, of course, using low light and uh, uh, infra. Red vision -ness. Thermographic? Thermographic, that's the one. I was going to say yeah, infra vision, and then I'm like, wait, this isn't AD&D. &D. It should be getting uh, dark now. It should just be getting a, a darker. Night's just fallen. Um, so you are going to be using uh, the partial light. Uh, light thing. So if anyone has low light, they're not taking penalties. If they don't, then they're going to be taking a minus two. I think that as luck would have it, both Twitch and Vice have low light vision. Yay, because we're an elf and an orc. Yep. I also, Vice also has thermographic, but he has to put on his goggles. Yeah, Twitch also has thermographic, so... I don't know if there's a way to highlight individuals that have like a heat signature so you can see them through stuff. Well, um, your thermographic doesn't really work through things. Okay. It's not. It's not actually infrared. Gotcha. I have so returned. How you, so how do you want to do this? There's those two guys down there. Well, we need to get in that. Oh, and uh, Twitch is, I assume, communicating with uh, with Vice via uh, sub-vocal microphone on her internal comm link. I think we need to get into that building if we're going to find anything. But uh, we're going to want to avoid possibly getting shot by those uh, truck-mounted machine guns if they make us. So you want to like cross the cross the road? Yeah, cross the road, move to cover on the other side, uh, reevaluate once we're there. Maybe fall right. back, then cross the road. 
No, I'm not going to make you roll perception because this is fairly obvious and um, you both, you know, snuck in fairly close. Uh, you see a girl walking with Rottweiler, pulling out a leash and sniffing around. And keep the fuck away from the dogs. Do any of you have anything that make you unsniffable? What? Do either of you have anything that make you unsniffable or help nope. sniffing? Nope. Which direction nope. is the wind blowing? Um, the winds, uh, well, I actually have that written down. Give me a sec. The wind's uh, been gentle breeze, uh, about 10 miles an hour. It's blowing in from off the ocean, and it's basically been continuing to do that all month. All month. Okay, so as long as we uh, don't get west of them, we don't have as much to worry about on that front, but we should definitely fall back away from the dog. You want to cross the road now, or waiting for that, or wait for that dog? Wait for the dog. If it looks like uh, we've been made, move in and try and silence the two of them as quickly as possible. At this point, where she calls to the other guys and uh, starts shouting uh, that a uh, dog sniffed something. Shit. I don't know if we've been had just yet. Um, there's probably cover there that's hiding behind. Uh, I just didn't draw cover all the way up. Uh, the dog's sniffing at things, and it looks like it's headed in your, trying to head in your direction, and she's pulling at it and tells it to stop and uh, sit. And uh, pulls out a treat and, and gives it, and then um, tells the other two from, uh, you can hear fairly well, that uh, whatever it is, there's something moving about uh, to keep on the lookout that she doesn't want to go wandering off with a dog out in the, in the night. Hmm. It seems like the women, it seems like... That woman, it seems like that girl might know something. Or is just the one who walks the dogs. Or is just the one who walks the dogs. Uh oh, trouble. The uh, bunny guys, uh, they're uh, looking around, saying, uh, and says to her, uh, that uh, it's dangerous to be out here, uh, even if it's not someone coming to hit them up. I mean, fuck, there's all sorts of things that could be out here. Uh, he has actually a fairly high-pitched voice, and um, mm, go ahead and give me a judge intentions roll. What's used in that? Intuition Charisma. Intuition plus Charisma. It will say on your other info tab of Chummer. If uh, you need to mouse over, it'll give you the straight up dice value. All right. And just the Vice and Twitch, the two that are close enough to see in here. And would my empathy software apply? Yeah. Oh, it actually does? Okay. I'll go ahead and for this, it, it'll be able to read it fairly easily. One hit on a 12 dice, three hits on six dice. Um, both of you can see that basically as soon as the, the rabbit's there, uh, she uh, basically seems to swoon over him.
the way it looks, the way she goes from uh, hard nose to uh, swooning is uh, clearly unnatural. Fucking creepy rabbit man. All right. Um, from where they are, Twitch is actually going to start taking aim at the rabbit man, just in case. She has no intention of actually shooting unless they get made. Go ahead and give me a perception, then. Um, yeah, just the two of you. You're, you two are the only ones that close enough to see this clearly. There's just this... in the way for everyone else. Okay, so this just... is visual? No, this is not visual. Just a straight perception roll. Not visual, not auditory. Oh, I put in the wrong thing. Let me re-roll that, sorry. For some reason, I had 12 dice. That thing, that thing, the plus three is just for me to remind me that if it's visual, I can get a plus nine. Let me go ahead and look what exactly this does. Oh, <laughs> hey, Crimson. Two survivors, man. We're taking the 10,000 <laughs> and running for it. Hey, man. I got to replace a drone. The uh, bunny guy will close his eyes for a second, uh, reopen them, seem to be looking a little bit distant, and start to walk uh, in your general direction. The uh, vice probably is the first to really sort of uh, realize it. But uh, he's probably looking in the astral. He's astrally looking for us. What's our move? Well, we can either fall back now and, you know, live another day. Do you think we could take a dog, three people, and a bunny man? I could definitely take half of them. It's the machine guns on the trucks I'm worried about. And Sean, your age uh, has up his sleeve. Never mind. I was going to comment that Sean's push to talk key was still like frozen in place, and we were hearing his uh, <laughs> him. <laughs> Sorry about that. My computer seems to have fucked up a little bit. Um. Well, we'll fall back. I think we should fall back for now. And if they keep following us, we should maybe plan an ambush. I don't know. All right. Let's uh, fall back 20 meters, see if we can find a good hiding place. That's roughly eight, I think. No. Well, um, the bunny man will only go up about 10, 20 meters. As long as you keep falling back, you'll stay outside his range. He won't notice you. All right. Well, yeah, I'd, I'll keep falling back. Uh, I'm trying to keep him at the closest 20 meters away. Uh, 
I don't think we've been made just yet, so I think we can still continue the mission. They're just going to be a little bit more cautious and paranoid. Are the others following the bunny man? They're uh, within about 10 meters of him. Um, one other thing. When uh, he turns around... Uh, I believe... Yeah, I'll say, go ahead and say both of you will actually hear this. Um, he'll actually say, I fucking hate this toxic area. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. And then they'll go roughly back to position, although a little bit more on guard. All right. Um, do we know if Truthsayer has his uh, stuff on? Like his goggles and such? Basically, is he contactable? Yeah, Truthsayer, Truthsayer's got his glasses on. He, his comm link, as far as you would know, would be on, yeah. All right. Uh, well, Twitch will uh, say... Hey, we just heard the bunny man say that uh, he hates the toxic area. What's that imply about what type of mage he is? Well, the um, good voice of True Sarah goes, he hates the toxic area. That's what he says. See, see, Sean, uh, I mean, even though uh, my character might not know so much about, like, uh, like toxic mages, one of the things would be that they have an affinity for this background, right? For him to, if he's actually being truthful, that would give credence to the fact. Then again, Truthsayer did a sense the fact that he was a toxic mage, right? You said that as much. You know he's some kind of toxic mage. I mean, you don't know a lot about them, and... Naomi just did put in the idea of your head that there are different types and they don't necessarily all do the exact same thing. I mean, toxic mage is sort of just a catch-all term for twisted in a certain kind of way. Sarah's destructive voice go, uh, uh, it, it can mean any sort of things. There are different types of uh, mages who uh, are more comfortable in toxic environments. For him to say that he fucking hates this toxic place, it's he still ends up being a more powerful awakened than I am. He just might not be as powerful here because he might not be he might not have an affinity for this zone. In which case, he's less dangerous, but still dangerous. Uh, keep away from his eyes. If you do see, for whatever reason, that he's sort of zoned out, he might be perceiving or projecting. He cannot find your auras if you keep solid substance between the two of you. Uh, buildings, trees, foliage. Just because he can see auras does not mean he can see through a solid wall or barrier. And putting a bullet in him will stop him, right? Him would have the same effect as putting a bullet in me, or doing what you did to the last standing dwarf woman on her first job. She was definitely awakened, but you took her down just as easily. He can still be surprised and overtaken. He's just dang really dangerous, like I would be if I had a chance to do something to you. All right, what do you think, Vice? Uh, loop around from the northeast and try and come out of the building? Sounds like the best plan we got. She crossed the road now, though. If, oh, there's a guy there. You should, if, if any of them see us and stuff like that, you should tell us, Sean, probably. Well, they have not reacted to you at all. 